the wrong direction. Why? That's what I want to know. And what I want to know is who are you? And what are you doing in my I'm house? I'm sorry. Forgive me. Um, my name is Vivian Belling and I've been going round in circles for the last two hours thanks to this little madam here. Holly, what have you been up to now? I... I just... You better come and sit down, Miss Belling, while we try and sort this out. But Gran... Gran, nothing. And I suppose you could do with a spot of supper as well. Thank you. Absolutely starving. And Vivian Belling wasn't the only one who was starving. Or no mistake. It's much too dark for you to go cycling into the village now. You'll just have to spend the night here. Oh, no, I couldn't possibly. No nonsense. It's the least we could do. You can have Polly's bed. What? Well, you can sleep down here. And I don't want to hear any more about it. decide when it's safe. It's my neck in the noose, not yours. It's me that takes all the risks. What do you want, a medal? All I'm saying is we're not doing enough. This war isn't going to last forever, and when it does come to an end, there'll be winners and losers. Which do you want to be? We'll be on the right side, I can tell you that, but I'm taking enough risks now as it is. What's the matter, Philip? Losing your nerve? Look. Wait till I've got rid of that lot down at Wells Farm. Then we can think about stepping up operations. And how long before they realise what is happening at the base? Now is not the time. It can't be very far away then, this American base. Oh, now that I couldn't say for sure. To tell the truth, I reckon it's best not to know too much about such things. Really? Why is that? Well, what you don't know, you can't tell, can you? After all, careless talk costs lives, isn't that what they say? Well, yes, but we can trust each other, can't we? Or do you think I might be a spy? Well, you might be. And there again, so might I. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go on, then. You're late already. They think you're not going to turn up. Just a minute. What's that girl up to? Leave her to me. It's hard to say why exactly, but Grange is definitely up to no good. Why else keep going out after dark? Mm. Well, he wasn't looking at the stars, that's for certain. Somebody ought to raise the alarm. Would that be the farm alarm you're referring to there? No, the Granger alarm. Oh, strange. I, I would have thought with all those AR words you're using, it must be the farm alarm. You remember? Now pay attention. A stay on a farm can do you great harm. Don't be fooled by its chocolate box charm. The cow by the cart may not look very large, but it's a bull for a start, and it's going to start. A stay on a farm can do you great harm. Farmyard dogs should be viewed with alarm. With the snarl of a bear and the teeth of a shark So you'd better take care Its bite is worse than its bark A stay on the farm And do you great harm For a bit of a lark Just stick to the park Well, I, I hope that makes it clear if you ask me, Granger could do a lot more harm than a stay on the farm. In fact, I think the man's a fake, a phony. He's not at all what he seems. Phony? There's an interesting word. Why? Spell it and you'll find out. Spell it? Yes. I-T. Ow. Spell phony. OK, um, F. Wrong. Wrong. F for phony. P-H for phony. You're joking. Joking is something I rarely do, young lady. The word phony begins with the sound f, made by the letters P-H, just like photographer. Photographer? Vivian Belling, she was a photographer, wasn't she? So was Phyllis Phillips. Phyllis Phillips? Who's Phyllis Phillips? Pay attention and you'll find out. Phyllis Phillips. Photographer of anything that starts with P-H. Phyllis Phillips. These are the snaps that she takes. There's a photo of my brother as a pharaoh. A photocopy of my mother's feet. My cousin who's a physical instructor. And the physical wrecks that he meets. There's a photo of a spooky looking phantom. A pharmacist who's talking on the phone. A photo fit to fill the lonely burglar. Is it any surprise he's alone? Photographer of anything that starts with P-H Sounds to me as though she's got something wrong with her. Only taking pictures of things that begin with P-H. Mm. So she ought to see a physician. <laughs> Why? She'd only take a photograph. There's something else that begins with P-H. What's that then? Phone book. Oh, uh, yeah. Weren't you going to try and find Polly in here? Lee, it's over 50 years since I was last in touch with Polly. You've come this far, Norman. You can't stop. Oh, well, anyway, she, she might have got married. Then she wouldn't be called Hobbs anymore. It's worth a try, isn't it? <sighs> well, yeah, all right. When I've uh, finished reading this. All right, then I'll do it. You're only putting it off. Polly, isn't it? No, no you, you look for the surname first. How can a woman be a sir? <sighs> well, it's the family name. <laughs> Hobbs. I know, I know. OK, Flynn, Fox, Fuller. Does Hobbs come before or after Fuller? Well, they are in uh, alphabetical order, you know, like a dictionary. So which comes first? Well, uh, Hobbs begins with H, Fuller begins with F, so which comes first? The chicken or the egg? No, no, in the alphabet. F, so H comes later. Got it. Found the H names. Right. Now look for the second letter. They're in alphabetical order as well. 
So I'm looking for Hobbs, H-O. Herritz, Hill, Hodges, that's H-O. Right, now the third letter. Hobbs, got it. Uh, now, now for the first name. Angela, David, Leslie, Peter. There's no Polly's. Well, perhaps she didn't give them a full name. Uh, look for P. Hobbs. Now, there are a lot of P's. About a podful. A podful? P's in a pod. Forget it. There's three. I'll write them down. You can phone them later. Right, if you say so. Now, uh, can I get on with the paper? No, I can't wait any longer to find out what happens to Mary. Uh, right. OK, here we go. Get up. Your light is burning. I must have fallen asleep while I was reading. But don't you know it's against the law to waste electricity? There is a war on. Where's who? Her was here last night. Oh, what about your business, which is what you should be doing. What is her business? Taking photographs, if you must know, <coughs> for the government. To show what it's like living out here in the country while this wretched war's on. How do you know that's what she does? Because she told me so, that's how. And I've got no reason to go doubting her word. And neither of you, young lady. Now get yourself out of bed. Photographs for the government. For Hitler, more like. That's what she's up to. Spying. Now we had someone else to keep watch on. Belling seemed to get everywhere. Always asking lots of questions. But wherever she was, we were close behind. Bye bye, take care of yourself. Thank you very much. It was as if someone was trying to send us a message. About the only person we haven't seen belling with is Granger. Mary might have. That's right. We'll go and find her tomorrow. Hey, look at this. There's a story here about a spy catcher. Tells you all the things a spy has to have. Like what? <clears throat> a pair of binoculars, a camera, a book of secret codes, and a wireless trans... trans... Transmitter. That's it. A wireless transmitter? What's a wireless transmitter? Sends messages. Do you think Belly's got one of them, then? Don't be stupid. She only had a haversack. Granger might have, though. It's Mike! Normally you look a real little angler, don't you? Daddy's idea, your mouth's open, so why do you look like you're going to swallow it? <laughs> well, sorry I didn't get it here sooner. One or two problems at the base. Oh, don't you fret. It was worth waiting for, my dear. Well, happy you like it. Now, any of you guys interested in candy? Oh. Chocolate. I can't wait. Oh, yes, you can. We're dividing it four ways. Next time you see Mary. 
It was three days before Mary finally turned up at the greenhouse. I thought something had happened to you. I just couldn't get away. I've waited ages for this. Enjoy it all the more then, won't you? Now, what about Belling? I'll keep a lookout, but the only person I've seen here is Mr Jenkins. Jenkins? Do you think he's a spy then? He brings the post. Here. That shirt's bigger than the others. That's Mary stupid. in Granger at night, though. At night? He goes out at night, when it's dark, to do something. Do you think it is Belling he's meeting with, then? I don't know. Might be. But whatever it is they're doing, they don't want anybody to know about it. Try you. You give Luigi a busted heart. <laughs> Pick it there. <laughs> yeah, you look like a Rita Hayworth. <laughs> yeah. What the devil do you think you're up to? Not doing nothing. Not you. Him. I fixed the gate for Mrs. Amy. He's working for us. Oh, is he? Well, we'll have to see about that, won't we? What is with him? He sleep bad or something? Nasty spy. Granger was a problem, but he could wait. There was a bigger danger coming our way. And it came when we least expected it. Not that! That's a toadstool, not a mushroom. Don't you know the difference? They're poisonous. Don't you know the difference? That's a jerry plane! Don't just stand there! 